Hi there, let's check out the lab. So here we are in the lab here. This is where I sit and do my computer work. These guys here are some amplifiers made by the Mass Row Company. They're a Carillon amplifiers, and they're found in church bell towers. They have kind of a neat history. they got four 6L6s each and produce quite a bit of power and a lot of heat. But they have very nice iron on them and sound very good. I guess it would be appropriate to say they sound angelic. So the guys on top here are, this is a Genrad comparison oscilloscope. This guy here is a transmitter, vacuum tube voltmeter. This guy here is a scope that monitors this transmitter and a watt meter that monitors this transmitter. This guy's a Megger and this guy's an RF preamp. So we'll go over here and take a look at all the parts and pieces. So we've got quite a few parts and pieces along the wall here. So we'll go and turn around here. So this here is a radio setup. This is where I monitor radio signals and and such. There's a speaker on the top there, I'm listening to. So that's the bench that I sit at. You see the two orange screens there are known as pan adapters. And what they do is they allow me to look at large portions of the received band while listening to a single frequency. So what that does is that allows me to listen above and below the band without actually listening. I can see it on a screen. So if there's a little pick that pops up somewhere, I can quickly roll the receiver up there and see what it is. So really, when you're using these things on a certain portion of the band, there is no hiding. This is a very large transmitter. Zoom out a little bit there. And here's some parts and pieces. This is all 402 stuff here. This is uh, just parts and, and uh, tools. Solder vac vent on the top here the blue pipe on the bottom of it. It's the fume extractor really. And a bunch of wave analyzers over here. Look a little closer. This is a wave analyzer and a dynamic load to 300 plus amps for testing power supplies. And more parts and pieces and so on and so forth. Nice little current probe there. So, I'll come back into the corner here, and this is the bench where I do my tinkering. This is my own personal bench here. This is where you'll find me doing lots of my YouTube videos. You probably already recognize the orange top. And above here is more test gear. And all the way over here. So I'll just do a brief, kind of quick explanation of a couple of pieces of gear here. So these guys are a bunch of 500 series tech scopes here. I use them for high voltage experimentation. I've got a couple of custom made modules I built myself for very purpose driven stuff. Down here's a microscope and a soldering iron. And you can see over there is my Dremel for doing printed circuit boards. This guy over here in the corner, this big gray fella, the trace on it is a spectrum analyzer that goes to 44 kilo megacycles or in today's terms 44 gigahertz so here's a bunch of spectrum analyzers each one has its purpose and scopes and LCR meters and function generators this guy here is a curve tracer that I built some time ago there's a little voltmeter attached to it it's looking at a 10 volt zener right now it's completely adjustable. It's kind of like a hunter on tracker on steroids. And um, this is was supposed to be intermittent, but it's not intermittent. It's uh, actually proving to be quite stable, but I'm sure if I heat it, it'll act up again. 
And here's another curve tracer looking at a PNP transistor. Bunch of frequency counters up here and here, and voltmeters, two signal generators. And there's my tech scope up here. It's a very nice scope for it. those of you who haven't ever seen a touchscreen tech scope. They're pretty nice. Very nice scope. Very easy to use. Lots of menus and menus and menus though. Just like some of the modern stuff. Nothing's changed. It's just gotten worse, I think. <laughs> this is an LCR meter up here. This is a Genrad. 1689M. I use that for my through hole stuff. And down here, I move my light out of the way. I have an ESI LCR meter. This ESI LCR meter I use for my surface mount stuff. It has surface mount tongs on it. This guy here. Very nice. This guy's a radio communications test set. And a bunch of other stuff here. You can see my soldering irons. Pretty much everything in that soldering iron pile there. Soldering iron and desoldering iron. Soldering iron, desoldering iron, vacuum and and tongs and everything. And you can see on the uh, screen there, it's looking at a component through the microscope. On the bottom is a fluke voltmeter. And there you have it. It's kind of a quick rundown of what's on the bench. So normally you only see the orange bench top. Now you know that what's actually surrounding the the experiment or whatever I'm showing on the benchtop on a YouTube video. So you can see what's actually cluttering me up so I can bump my arms and stuff in here. The guy on top is a Spectrocom disciplined 10 megahertz oscillator which isn't so disciplined anymore. So there you have it. That's the bench and uh, the lab. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.